The methamphetamine epidemic sweeping the country is so pervasive now, there are even reports of children taking the drug to school. And as part of RNZ's Broken Bad project, an in-depth look at New Zealand's meth problem, Charlie Drever spoke to people who had been addicted to meth from childhood. Charlie filed this report. In an ideal world, primary school children would be worrying about what's for lunch and who will kick around a ball at recess. But for many students, reality is much more grim, and that's often because of methamphetamine. Karn Steiner is one example. I was a six-year-old kid selling meth with my dad while my mum worked as a prostitute in the clubs. And um, by about the age of 15, 16, I'd become fully addicted to methamphetamine. I was learning how to cook methamphetamine by the time I was 16. The former addict now works to help others kick the habit. Social worker Fiona Watson says the problem with children is getting worse. Unfortunately, we've heard stories about kids taking stuff to school to take, maybe take to their aunties after school uncles. This is like um, 10, 11 year olds. And it's not only children using or carrying meth that's a problem. Te Tai Tokoro Principals Association President Pat Newman hasn't seen meth in schools, but says every class in the north has children affected by their parents' drug use. It can be right up to the children being involved in picking up the fumes or even if mum's been having it and she's been pregnant. We don't even know the effects of that these days. So, you know, it's such a wide area that no work has ever been done on and we don't really know about it. But I would say if you're talking impact from lack of food, parenting through to the very worst parts of P impact on kids, one or two in a classroom would be minimum. Mr Newman says the students affected by meth use tend to have stunted development. Their socialisation skills are sort of at the one to two year old age. We're getting an effect through increased violence within the children and irrationality. That's also a sign where generally the children need some other care taken of them, such as lack of food, things like that. And Dennis Mokaleo of P. Paul, a group of former addicts trying to help others give up the drug, says the government's focus is all wrong. Well, whether all the money's going to to law enforcement to try and fight war on importing, whether you stop it or not, which you would, you would never stop a drug, it's not going to stop people that know how to cook it. You've got 14 year olds crystallising their neuron. Our youngest walking is eight, our oldest is 68. Mr Mokaleo says there needs to be more anti-P education in schools. He's asking Te Puni Kokiri, the Māori Affairs Ministry, for help. Hopefully our presentation will convince them, at least let us start into our Māori schools. You know, because if the government don't want us to uh, help help society, then we need to focus on our people first. Then. New Zealand Principals Federation President Fatu Kormek says dealing with children born to be addicted parents is a growing problem. Increasingly, we're hearing from colleagues across the country about the concern that they have with children presenting at school who, as awful as it sounds, are pee babies. And so the challenge that we have is finding appropriate supports from psychologists and special education services to help schools and teachers deal with the challenges that these young children are presenting. Mr Cormitt says there's lots of research into fetal alcohol syndrome, but very little on the impacts of methamphetamine. Because there's not a bank of knowledge in terms of research, teachers are often feeling around in the dark for strategies that work. And I've heard from some colleagues that the only thing they can do to calm these young people is to rub their backs. And so one behaviour, one child to the next child presents different behaviours. So the sooner we get some research around this, the better support will be put in place for these young people. All those spoken to agree funding is needed in this area, but they also say it's up to the communities to say enough is enough. For Checkpoint, Charlie Drever. That report was part of Broken Bad, which is RND, RNZ's uh, look at the country's methamphetamine problem uh, under the chairwomanship of Veronica Schmidt. Some top work there. And you can find it on rnz.co.nz, our website.